Hi everyone, welcome to another video of NS Pharma. In today's video, we are going to see ISRO VSSE previous year pharmacist question paper. Okay, along with the explanation. Uh, before going into the questions, first of all, we have to see the syllabus because so many of my subscribers already asked about this syllabus for this post. What are the important topics to cover for this exam? And also how is the pattern for this exam and uh, many students asked about the previous year questions also so I thought that it's better to go through this one first of all we will see the syllabus and how is the pattern of this exam then afterwards we will go to the exam previous year exam questions so first of all there will be a total of 80 questions there will be total of 80 multiple choice questions for this exam. Each question has got total 4 options. A, B, C, D. Total 4 options. And the correct answer. For the correct answer. They will give you total of plus 4 mark. And for the wrong answer. There will be negative 1 mark. Okay. For the correct answer positive 4 mark. And wrong answer negative 1 mark. And total mark will be 320 that is 80 multiple choice questions is there and each carry 4 mark that is total of 320 mark and the time given for this exam will be 2 hours the total time for this exam for attending this exam is 2 hours so you have to attend 80 questions in 2 hours all are multiple choice questions when we are seeing the syllabus the important subjects for this exams are the main subject is pharmacology this one you have to study very well especially the classification of drug many questions are already asked in the previous year exam from the classification so you have to buy hard all the classification uh, pharmacology is a very important subject many questions are coming uh, from this subject then pharmaceutics pharmacognosy pharmaceutical jurisprudence biochemistry also uh, some questions are coming from the biochemistry and some questions are related to general science general science so the main important topic is pharmacology pharmacology is very important many questions are coming from this subject and pharmaceutic pharmaceutic pharmacognosy jurisprudence then biochem and general science biochem a little bit question even though it's better to study okay so these are the syllabus now we will move to the previous year exam question paper so this is isro pharmacist question paper it's held on 2017 so the first question we will move to the first question the sweetening agent commonly used in the chewable tablet formula is the sweetening agent commonly used in the chewable tablet formula is option a sucrose option b cyclamide sodium option c saccharin sodium option d mannitol the sweetening agent in the chewable tablet is mannitol the correct answer is option d mannitol we will move to the next question question number two before that i will say some important uh, one more one point regarding this one we know that effervescent tablet this one question was based on the chewable tablet i will say one point regarding the effervescent tablet Effer effervescent tablet actually uh, prepared by compressing the active ingredient it is prepared by a uh, compressing the active ingredients with uh, the mixture of sodium bicarbonate and organic acids like citric acid so this is also important maybe the question may be in the coming uh, uh, coming exam it will come like that effervescent tablet contain the ingredients of effervescent tablet so effervescent tablet contain active ingredient will be there along with that one sodium bicarbonate and citric acid now we will move to the next question question number two Subcoating is given to the tablet. What is the purpose of subcoating? Option A to increase the bulk. Option B to avoid deterioration due to 
microbial attack option c to prevent the solubility in acidic media option d to avoid stickiness so option subcoating is given to the tablet option a to increase bulk option b to avoid deterioration due to the microbial attack option c to prevent the solubility in acidic media option d to avoid stickiness the correct answer for this question is option a to increase the bulk that is the correct answer subcoating is mainly given subcoating is mainly given to the tablet for two purpose one is here already mentioned to increase the bulk the second is to round the edges the tablet edges to round the edges of the tablet okay so these are the two purpose of the subcoating next question question number 3 the pH of pharmaceutical buffer system can be calculated by the pH of a pharmaceutical buffer system can be calculated by options are pH partition theory option B noise whitening equation option C Anderson Hasselbalch equation option D Michaelis Menden equation so the question is the equation for finding the pH of pharmaceutical buffer system for the buffer system the correct answer for this question is option C Anderson Hasselbalch equation we studied this one very well so what is pH partition theory pH partition theory is a, it is a tendency for acid acids to accumulate in the basic fluid compartment what is pH partition theory it is the tendency for acids to accumulate in the basic fluid compartment and the basis it is the tendency of a basis to accumulate in acidic media acidic compartment so this is the pH partition theory noise whitening equation noise whitening law is about the dissolution rate it's about dissolution rate okay dissolution rate then Michaelis Menten equation Michaelis Menten equation is is to it's for finding out the rate of product rate of product formation in the enzymatic reaction Michaelis Mendelssohn equation is for rate of product formation rate of product formation in enzymatic reaction formation in enzymatic reaction that is the Michaelis Menden equation so the here correct answer is Anderson Hasselbalch equation that is option C is the correct answer question number four the pharmacy council of india is constituted by this is a simple question the pharmacy council of india pci is constituted by the option a central government option b state government option c parliament option d legislative assembly the correct answer is central government option a is the a is the correct answer now we are moving to the next question question number five question number five Poorly manufactured tablet may have small pinholes. You have to note down here pinholes. Poorly manufactured tablet may have small pinholes on the surface. This phenomenon is known as options are picking, mottling, leaching, cracking. So if there is a pinhole, then the correct answer for this question is option A. Picking is the correct answer. Okay. Poorly manufactured tablet may have small pinhole on the surface this is called picking what is mottling mottling is actually it's unequal color distribution it is the unequal distribution of mottling mottling is it's also important it's maybe the coming question paper will contain this question so it's very important this uh, problems of uh, uh, tablet preparation unequal mottling means unequal color distribution on the tablet so another one is the lamination lamination is another problem uh, lamination means separation of tablet into two or more distinct layers okay lamination is also another problem lamination means uh, it is a separation of tablet into two or more distinct layers okay next one of question number six 
uh, among the following preparations which one of the which one will be the most irritating to the eye among the following preparation which one will be the most irritating to the eye options are purified water 0.7% sodium chloride solution 0.9% sodium chloride solution 1% sodium chloride solution the correct answer is option a purified water will be the most irritating to the eye okay we are moving to the next question question number 7 bubble point test okay bubble point test bubble point test is done to determine options are the surface tension of the liquid in the capillary tube the viscosity of the liquid in ampules option c the ph of a one percentage solution option d the volume of a solution stored in a specific container so bubble point test is used for bubble point test is the question bubble point test is used for the finding out the surface tension bubble point test is used for finding out surface tension of the liquid in capillary tube that is the correct answer option a is the correct answer now the eighth question as per gmp permitted limit of solid contents in water for injection as per the good manufacturing practice and that is gmp permitted limit the maximum limit of solid content in the water for injection options are 100 parts per million that is 100 ppm 1 ppm 0.1 ppm then 10 ppm the correct answer for this question is 10 ppm this is also an important question many many uh, question paper already asked these questions many question paper for the pharmacists as not only this uh, I, isro uh, many of the uh, state government exams already asked this question now we are moving to the ninth question uh, question is uh, from the pharmaceutical jurisprudence license for wholesale of drugs specified in schedule c and schedule c1 is issued in form number license for wholesale of drug it's wholesale of drugs specified in schedule c and c1 is issued in the form uh, is issued you had not run one also this is issued okay we are not applying is we are not applying for this one we are uh, this is issued okay both are differs so options are 20a 20b 21b and 22a the correct answer for this question is option c 21b 21b okay uh, this thing we already discussed what are the different forms and all these thing in the, uh, in the in the previous videos we already discussed and uh, uh, different uh, shortcuts for finding for remembering the form number so you can check the previous videos uh, i will try to put the link for this one in the description box okay now we are moving to the 10th question hopefully you are following this thing uh, these uh, questions are already asked this is a previous question paper so you have to just uh, uh, read this one and study very well now we are moving to the 10th question in capsule rotofil in capsule rotofil is used for filling in rotofil is used for filling options are powders option b pellets liquids corrosive liquids the correct answer is pellets rotofil is used for filling pellets in capsules Question number 11. Which of the following commonly available large volume dextrose solution for IV intravenous use in is isotonic? So the isotonic dextrose solution, okay, which is we are using in the large volume for intravenous ingestion. The correct answer, the options I will read 2.5% weight per volume 5 percentage weight per volume 10 percentage weight per volume 30 percentage weight per volume we know that the 5 percentage is the isotonic solution that is option b is the correct answer 5 percentage weight per volume okay uh, i will not explain all the question because uh, most of the questions are simple and uh, some questions when i am uh, reading i will uh, uh, i will give you more ideas regarding that question because that may be asked in another way also 
so that's why we are i am not giving all the question explanation now we will move to the next question question number 12 which is the ideal combination for testing the solubility of an enteric coated capsule in alkaline medium which is the ideal combination for testing for testing the solubility it is asked for the solubility solution for testing the solubility of an enteric coated capsule in alkaline medium options are sodium bicarbonate plus potassium hydroxide and pepsin option b sodium bicarbonate plus sodium toroglycolate plus pepsin sodium bicarbonate pancreatin then sodium toroglycolate last option sodium bicarbonate plus bilirubin the correct answer for this question is option c sodium bicarbonate plus pancreatin plus sodium toro glycocolite this is the correct answer for this question question number 13 which one of the following is a pseudo alkaloid this question from, came from alkaloids that is uh, pharmacognosy it's very important in case of pharmacognosy alkaloid chapter is very important so which one of the following is a pseudo alkaloid options are caffeine ephedrine morphine and codeine the correct answer is pseudo alkaloid is caffeine pseudo alkaloid is caffeine correct answer is option a so what is ephedrine ephedrine is a proto alkaloid many students have got confusion in between ephedrine and caffeine ephedrine is not the answer here it's actually proto alkaloid proto alkaloid okay proto alkaloid the correct answer for this question is pseudo alkaloid is caffeine okay you understood this one hopefully next question question number 14 question number 14 which vitamin contain steroidal structure so the structure with h is with the steroidal moiety options are vitamin e vitamin a vitamin d none of the above we know that vitamin d is called calciferol vitamin d is calciferol which has got steroidal structure okay next one question number 15 it's a very simple question morphine is present in morphine is present in so what is the source of morphine that is the question options are atropa belladonna uh, atropa belladonna we know that atropin we are getting from the atropa belladonna next question next option the powers of new era that is the correct answer am i correct morphine morphine we are getting from the power somniferum so next question next uh, options resinous communis this is castroid source of castroid next one solanum nigrum so here it is the correct answer is morphine is present in pep power somniferum so correct answer is option b option b is the correct answer 